Hi everyone, in today's video, I'm gonna give you some more strategies on how to lose weight without doing exercise. Coming up. Hi everyone, this is Ernesto from Attaboy Cowboy and on this channel, we give you health and wealth tips to help you be more successful. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel. Thank you. In today's video, I'm gonna go over another one of my undervalued but very strong strategies for helping you lose weight without exercise. Now that's a, that's a question I get from a lot of patients. They want to lose weight. And I'll talk to the person, I'll ask them, well, how often are you exercising? They're like, no, I'm not into the exercise. And I can't exercise because my joints hurt or my knees or I can't breathe or whatever. Or sometimes people tell me they don't want to mess up their hair because they don't wash it very often. There's a lot of different reasons why people don't want to exercise. I'm not saying you shouldn't, you should exercise. It's good for you. But if you're not into it and you need to lose some weight to improve your health, there's some ways to do it. One of my favorite strategies is cold water showers. Now, I wanna explain this a little more in detail. I mentioned this in another video. If you get up and take a cold water shower every morning for about two minutes, you're gonna lose about 9% of your body weight in a year. So I weigh 200 pounds. If I take a cold water shower every morning, I'm gonna burn enough calories to basically lose 18 pounds over the year. If I could lose 18 pounds, that would be great. <laughs> I'd be in great shape. I look like I did in high school. Now I'm in my 40s, I'm still young, but my metabolism is slowing down. It's normal, it's part of life. As we mature, our metabolism slows down. So what the cold water does, it causes vasodilation and then vasoconstriction. So let me explain that a little more in detail. Again, my core body temperature and yours is 98.6. The room I'm in right now is in the 70s. So there's about a 20 degree temperature differentiation, okay? So you're gonna have the air sucking heat off your body and your metabolism is gonna burn and work to generate heat to maintain your temperature. Now, if you go into water specifically a cold water shower in the morning, you're gonna get doused in cold water and it's gonna suck a bunch of heat out of your body. So your body's gonna have to wake up quick and generate some heat. Now the fastest way to do that is to activate the brown fat. Remember, you have three types of fat. Brown fat, white fat, and visceral fat. White fat is the stuff you see all over the place that you don't want. The visceral fat is protecting your organs and the brown fat is the stuff that you don't see very much but it creates a lot of heat. It's responsible for burning a lot of calories when you get into sticky situations where you're too cold. So that's the one you wanna trigger. The way to trigger that one is through temperature changes, drastic temperature changes. That's why it's good to take a cold water shower. When you get the cold water on your, on your body, basically it's gonna open up all your blood vessels. That's called vasodilation. It's gonna create more blood flow, your, heart's gonna get pumping, your brain's gonna wake up, your lungs are gonna keep pumping even faster. That flow is gonna create more heat in your body. That circulation is gonna go a lot more faster. And it's gonna distribute heat faster to your body. That's exactly what you want. Try to get your core temperature back up. The good thing is that as soon as you get out of that shower in a couple minutes, it's gonna go back to normal. You're gonna vasoconstrict. Your vessels are gonna close up again a little bit. What that's gonna do, it's excellent for your skin. It's gonna tone up your skin. It's great for your hair, your nails. Remember, your blood is for everything, right? Your whole body needs nutrients. All the nutrients come through your blood. So you wanna open up all the pipes and let everything flow in. Everything's gonna get better. Your vision, your eyesight, your, your skin, your nails. And in men, it's gonna help boost your testosterone because you're gonna get more blood flow to your testicles. When you get more blood flow, it's gonna increase your testosterone level. It's gonna help with erectile dysfunction. It's gonna help with a lot of things. So again, I really suggest this. The first four or five days are gonna be rough. You're gonna take a cold shower, you're gonna be like, ah, oh, man, it sucks. 
but after that it goes away and it's no big deal and you get used to it. Now in the mornings when I wake up and I'm a little sluggish, I take a cold shower, man, I feel great. I don't drink coffee. So I just take a cold shower and I'm ready to go. I'm pumped. Gets me going for the whole day. In fact, before I made this video, I take a cold water shower to get me ready to film. Thank you for listening. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel. Bye-bye.